Today's review is one of the great pieces of horror entertainment, and, and that's Lamberto Bava's Demons, or Demoni, if you prefer. Uh, this is also produced and co-written uh, by Dario Argento. Uh, 1980s Italian horror, uh, not unlike uh, 1960s Italian westerns, really was almost like kind of like a renaissance period that uh, paved the way for some really extremely talented uh, uh, directors uh, to emerge and uh, really kind of going against the curve against expectations. Also uh, having, you know, just bizarre uh, uh, dubbing <laughs> for international release reasons. You're like, Wait, it looks like she's originally talking in English, but she's dubbed over. What is that? Uh, whatever. Um, but uh, anyway, uh, this is an extremely entertaining film in its own way, uh, in kind of a masterpiece. Um, this is the kind of movie that I, I'd, I'd love to, you know, go see, you know, like a midnight showing, you know, packed theater uh, with, you know, a whole bunch of audience who, who knows and loves the movie. Because, I mean, this this movie is, you know, it's a, it's a movie within a movie. So the whole thing, it, well, the, most of the thing is set in in a theater uh, where things go uh, horribly wrong, of course, as they often do in these types of horror movies, aren't, don't they? Um, so, you know, pe uh, these students, uh, among other people, get passes to see this, this new horror movie, and it, 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 it's about the, the demonic uh, possession, about, uh, you know, people getting uh, possessed by these evil demons and doing horrible things. Then that starts happening within the theater. So, you know, there's this spillover of the uh, fiction on the screen into the reality of, of the, those sitting in the theater. So I think that kind of speaks to, to something, you know, about the, the theater experience. I think the theater experience should never die. Um, so I think this movie is kind of a love letter to that in its own demented way, obviously. Um, th there are just so many great effects in this movie um, with the demonic possessions. Like, uh, it's, it's grotesque, but it is grotesque in the most artistically brilliant way you'll ever see like the possession scenes like you see like the teeth kind of like coming out like this and like blood and uh, things coming out of the nails and uh, 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 it's so disgusting but so cool um and like the the carnage that the, the demons um kind of uh uh bring to to everyone who poor poor enough to have to go to that theater poor bastards uh like some lady gets her fucking scalp ripped off and it's bloody and disgusting and just kind of awesome uh but yeah i mean it's 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 a fun movie it, it really is like it's it, it's it's not i don't know not meant to be like this super serious super uh, scary type of psychological horror no this is very much a product of the 80s it has uh every requirement uh, of an 80s uh, horror movie really right down to like the rock and soundtrack and you have like you know kind of the subplot with the the punk rocker kids uh, listening to billy idol and doing cocaine and things like that and who kind of uh fuck up to the whole world by uh letting out that demon um but anyway um it, it is you know kind of a survival movie too which which i like you know it is this group of people who survived this terrifying experience of this, this de demonic possession occurring in the theater um and they have to figure out well how are we going to get out of here we're trapped in here this place is like possessed itself and you know they do kind of stop to 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 inquire about you know what what exactly is going on here is the movie itself possessed is, is that why this is happening uh no it's the theater itself uh, and, and it, it's it's more their kind of uh, ideas about what's happening. There, there are uh, thoughts. It, it, there's nothing like say that's explained. Like you know, nothing is spelled out for you in this movie, which I like. I, I, I again, I, I hate uh, uh, anything that is over-explained too much. That 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 ruins a movie. So it keeps it somewhat am ambiguous there, which which is good. Um, so it it allows the the action and, and the horror to unfold, which which I like. Um, so uh, there's some really really standout uh, scenes in this movie. Like one scene that I really really like is you know when the guy and the girl are are in the vent and uh, you you like see like the claws and then like the the scene like stops short when like you see the demon right in front of him and boom scene is over. Like that's really cool. That's so nightmarish and cool. Um, 
and well obviously the scene at the end which is the best um you know music is playing the guy's on the motorcycle he has the blade flicking through all the demons it's so fucking cool it really is um a lot of fun this movie is and and it does you know have its uh apocalyptic type of theme to it where yeah this this shit is going down and uh, the world is essentially coming to an end, being a- overtaken by these demons. So while you guys were in this theater the whole time, guess what? Times that by a million, that's what was happening in the entire world. And so it always, you know, kind of plays with your expectations. Like even, you know, on multiple viewings, like you can really appreciate how they, they've they set it up and, and how they've given you an expectation of a certain type of movie then they change that and they turn it to something else then they change that once again uh and, and like you know you kind of think and there's like just okay for example this is like i'm ruining the whole movie but anyway like with the end with the lead character you see his arm get uh, gashed but it, like if you look really closely it's it's not from a demon claw because like if you get claw with a demon claw you you are infected and you become possessed yourself so you're you're done for goodbye um and you know during the whole ending sequence of the movie you're like wait, wait, wait what's going on there but meanwhile if, if you watch a little closely which the first time i watched it i didn't even notice but I'm like why isn't he turning into a oh okay um meanwhile the whole time the girl the main girl she's actually uh she's been bitten she's right in the back of her head there you didn't even notice it did you uh huh, um, and then she becomes possessed at the very end, like mid credits, by the way. So, I just an exceedingly clever movie, uh, with so many great effects, so, such cool, cool uh, demon action and blood and gore and horrific things. Um, it's it's really just, I mean, in its own way, yeah, it is it is a masterpiece. Uh, Lamberto Bava, what a talented director. Uh, what a stylish and, and, and awesome movie that he's created. So uh, I, I think this, you know, in 80s horror, 80s Italian horror specifically, this is an essential movie. One of the greats, uh, I just think it's fantastic. So, I mean, not much or more else to say about it other than uh, it's it's awesome. you got to watch it. So uh, that'll be my review. And as always, thanks for watching. More reviews to come, 31 Days of Horror. Stay tuned for more.